So I'm here at the Eco Village. I'm about to uh, take off on my bike and go down to the farmer's market at a local food co-op. Haven't been to the farmer's market in a while, so I'm really looking forward to it. I have um, my Dutchie bike here and some shopping baskets on the side. And then I have a few shopping bags that I'm going to just put in there and use for my shopping today. So I just got back from my local farmer's market where I picked up a few things for dinner and um, I got some nice collard greens, leek, and some radishes all picked nice and fresh today. Um, also from a local maker I got these organic uh, tortillas, two different types. This one says Abenaki flint corn white corn and I also got this uh, loaf of rye bread it's really hard to find just straight plain white rye bread without the um, uh, white flour in it so I'm just going to give that a little try here That's the real stuff. So they make everything organic and they mill their own grains. So yeah, that's a really nice bread. On the way there, I did um, stop at our organic farm supply and pick up these garden seeds. So I will be working on uh, planting up some of these seedlings this week. So I'm here in the Eco Village greenhouse where I am sprouting some little seeds that uh, we'll be putting in our garden plots. Um, I just took uh, these um, yogurt containers and cut them up to make labels where all of our plants are so I know what's coming up and um, where I can plant them and so on and so forth. Uh, didn't have a whole lot of planter pots, so I took um, some of these pot liners and um, just cut holes, and then I put another layer to um, catch the water underneath. And so um, these were only planted about um, half a week ago, so. Um, it'll be a little bit before we see any seedlings come up and I'll keep you posted. So a couple of weeks ago I took some store-bought carrots and uh, chopped the tops off, used the rest in my dinner of course, and um, just put them in water like this to see uh, what they would do. And they are here growing um, roots. So that's good. The, um, the old foliage did rot, um, and, but it, underneath it had this nice new foliage. So I'd say cut the old foliage off if you're going to do that. 
so that could be a way to regrow your carrots at home that you buy at the grocery store. Um, I thought I'd start my own carrots here in the garden this year. So um, I've planted some here. Uh, I have some scarlet nantes. I think they're supposed to be orange on the outside, red on the inside. And then in this row here, I'm starting some radishes. And um, I thought I would just try and experiment and take these and plant them in since they do have roots. Uh, I'll just give it a try. This is my herb garden that I planted about a year ago and some of these are new, some are older plants that I rescued from an old garden plot. Um, this purple sage and that thyme and this other sage, these were older plants and so they're coming back to life now. Um, this one is new, so I'm finally getting some growth. It was a little bit slow growing last year. Um, this is from an old garden plot, these chives now, really fresh chives coming up uh, in the spring here. And um, this spearmint was new from a year ago. And it was just a little plant over here last year, and now I'm getting all this growth. So I'm really looking forward to um, getting some nice spearmint tea out of it this year. Mm. So this is one of my garden plots. It's the newest one. We're just getting it prepped for planting. Um, we did put in a little retaining wall on that side. And we put up this trellis here, hoping to plant some, oh, peas and cucumbers maybe streaming up there and maybe some um, lettuce and parsley down in here. Um, we've put this beautiful uh, curly willow. You can see um, it's got the fresh spring leaves. It's gorgeous. Um, I don't know if we'll keep it here. It depends on what it does, but for now it looks very nice. This was our first garden plot that we planted a oh, year and a half ago. And, um, well, originally our first plot was over there somewhere, but um, we moved to this one a year and a half ago. And uh, last year we had a bunch of um, zucchini and squash and um, cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce, parsley. It was just full in here. And um, we also did have this, if you look down in here, this uh, peppermint growing. And uh, um, it's just now coming up for spring. If you look all throughout here, there's actually peppermint coming up throughout the whole plot. So that means um, I'm gonna have a big crop of my very favorite peppermint tea this year. And then we have these strawberries uh, that we've had from um, about five years back, I'd say. And uh, those get really big, sweet strawberries. Um, so we'll put a few cucumbers here, maybe a tomato plant or two, probably two zucchini plants. And then I'm just gonna let this um, peppermint just grow wild in here. So here I am with week two of my garbage and recycling uh, check-in. I feel like I've made some progress just by uh, starting to think about what I can reduce. I didn't put a whole lot of effort into it. Um, there was one thing that I did uh, specifically was to start using the loose leaf tea instead of tea bags. So um, like last week I had a whole bunch of tea bag wrappers and so I was able to uh, use a lot less tea bags and then also get rid of uh, these boxes that had been holding um, the tea bags that were in the cupboard. Um, one other thing that I did do was to go to the farmer's market 
and bring my own bags for the produce and so that reduced my number of paper bags that I tend to grab, find at the grocery store and I don't have a bag with me then I tend to grab these to put my produce in. Um, so that feels good to reduce those two things. Ah, uh, the third thing. Yeah, the third thing that I made a conscious effort of doing is to start using uh, permanent wipes or household wipes um, instead of toilet paper. So I've reduced the uh, number of toilet paper rolls that I've used. So these are, you can buy them on the internet or they're really easy to make at home. Um, possibly I'll make a video later on how to do those. They are double layer. There's a cotton on one side and then terry cloth on the other. Um, so I've still got a collection of, um, you know, junk mail, paper boxes, um, a lot of plastic bags here. Uh, this one I'm going to check with the recycling team. I've been putting it in the soft plastics because to me it's a pliable plastic, but I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing with that. Um, the clamshell can't go in curbside recycling, but we do have a plastics collection one through seven downstairs that um, we're specifically collecting to take to a local recycling center. And then, of course, um, plastic containers and glass. We have curbside recycling for that. Metals can go in curbside recycling. Uh, we have the container downstairs that we're um, collecting hard plastics that also goes to our local recycling center. As far as um, garbage this week, um, this is the garbage. So a lot of these are really crispy, crinkly plastics that can't be recycled anywhere. So have a few of those. Um, yeah, I guess I could be doing something to get my oats a different way so I don't get these bags. So think about doing that at some point. And that's about it. That's my check-in for this week. Thanks for watching. Greener Good produces several shows. To view all of our shows, subscribe to our channel. Greener Good is funded by viewers like you. To support us, please visit our Patreon page.